I hate to say it, but I knew you were going to call on me. And I feel like I'm sitting on the razor's edge where I am content most of the time. Good for you. I'm having a good time. Everything's working out. I sit there and I'm like, well, this is good. I'm happy here. And then I go, yeah, but I'm kind of lonely some days. Esther said that to Jerry one day, her dearly not so departed. She writes with him every day. He's really available. <laughs> and she said, I think I'm missing you. I think I'm lonely. And he said, are you lonely or bored? And she thought, oh yeah, it's bored. It's bored. Yeah. Well, sometimes I think I'd like somebody, even like Jerry, somebody I could just write to. Yeah, but they're not dependable. Then they just croak. They croak. <laughs> you calibrate to somebody wonderful like that. Poof. So is that resistance? Am I being resistant? You're being observant uh -huh. of now. Let's play with this terminology. This certainly is not new terminology, thinking outside the box. That's been around forever. But when we apply it to what we're talking about in this forum, inside the box, let's say, is what's already manifested. And outside the box is reaching for something else. So what was your question? Am I what? Am I what? Am I, am I being resistant to, to, well, to when you're loneliness? Looking, we're going to give you a strong statement. When you are looking at what is, you're resistant to more. So if I'm looking at... That's why we said, what's happened to anticipation? Anticipation is looking outside the box to something that hasn't manifested yet. So being content is just sort of a stopping place? Content. Content is tuned in, tapped in, turned on. You didn't say you're contented or oh, satisfied. We've got a list. Oh. You said something else. Bored. No, no you said you. bored. I said content. You're right. You're right. But you said lonely. And that's why we said bored. Oh, okay. Your turn. What's the next one up from bored then? The next one up from bored is content. Oh, so you said you were on a razor's that's edge. That's right. I'm going back and you, that's where you started. Back and forth between bored and content. That's a good place to be. That's actually a really good place to be. I know, but what's up above content then? Oh, bliss. No, hopefulness, optimism, positive expectation and belief. Everything's up from there. But you know, you're going to like this. If you can hang around and you are in a consistent place, you are eliciting from us a masterful conversation good about the important but subtle differences between the path of least resistance and the path of most allowance so when you have moved into a place of contentment and you just hang around there pretty steadily the law of attraction will not help you sustain that because in the absence of resistance that exists in contentment the vibration will move faster and faster and faster and you will move up the emotional scale and that's what we call the path of most allowance and so if someone says to us that I'm content but sometimes I feel lonely then you're not holding steady in your satisfaction or contentment because if you were, it would just get better and better and better and better. And it does much of the time. You have stimulating friends. You have so many things that you like to do. Just don't let yourself dip into that. We're going to put you on the spot. Do you mind? No. Well, we'll see in a minute. <laughs> what do you think is a sort of regular or frequent or common thought that you might think that would cause your emotion to dip? What do you think it is? Loneliness. Loneliness is the emotion, uh -huh. the indicator of the thought. Uh -huh. But what do you think the thought is? What's next? Yeah. It's so much has happened 
and what's next and it's sort of a comparison of Esther's not gonna climb South Mountain today or ever that's already been done but, that's not next that's behind you but at the same time she could be thinking about diminishment she could be thinking about so much time has passed what's next and those are thoughts that your inner being never thinks your inner being never thinks about time shortage consciousness or anything like that so as you start caring about how you feel this is the reason that Esther is doing every day her focus on things to accept I accept my decades in this body I accept them I embrace them I adore them and I acknowledge the point of attraction that I have accomplished during that time and I acknowledge the eternalness of my being and the power of now Esther's daughter sent her a video collage that she had set to music of Esther's grandson and his basketball career not very long one four years in high school and then of her daughter's birthday they came within a couple of days of each other and it's the pictures from all of these ages and all of these parties and all of this love and all of this exposure to life and the music it was so beautifully done and as Esther watched it she felt a tugging a tugging and so that day when she wrote with Jerry she said boy it sure does seem like time is passing quickly is time passing quickly for you Jerry said nope I just live in the now you might like it he said try it you might like it just living in the now just here in this place where the physical you meets the non-physical you with all of the intentions that your life has set into your vortex and all of the capabilities that you have accomplished that your inner being is still focused upon find out how much is still to be lived that your inner being knows you put into your vortex that you have not yet manifested don't cut yourself off just because you're not still in college or you're not still playing basketball or you're still not climbing South Mountain your vortex has so much more that your inner being is all aware of and the cooperative components are all being gathered to let yourself be one of the cooperative components that goes and lets this now feel exhilarating for a reason that you can't even identify in advance but your inner being knows you see we've said from the beginning of words flowing out of Esther's mouth surprise and delight let the universe surprise and delight you and Esther would say well I get how I could be delighted but how could I be surprised if I'm a deliberate creator and I've done all this intending then why would it surprise me and we say because there is stuff in your vortex that you don't even remember putting there and there are combinations of what you put there that have taken on new life in other words surprise and delight oh 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 you're not going to be bored if you just relax and trust that that's there and as you live in your satisfied now you can't help but continue to rise to the occasion of that and that and that and that sometimes just images forming in your mind sometimes a new idea coming is exhilaration enough for hours of contemplation sometimes a decision that you never thought you'd make again you make and it's all full of new life and new activity and new exposure to new people for new reasons Esther will say to herself on a pretty regular basis why do I keep you sort of said that I'm sorry to say I knew I was gonna get in the hot seat Esther will say why do I keep so many things stirred up why did I decide to get another apartment when I've already got one to use as a studio in an office why did I do that because it's fun and because it asks for more things and because it affords more possibilities and because it makes room for more people to play with you in more ways why did I decide to sell the house that I've only been living in for a year why did I decide to do that and move back out on the why did I decide to because it's fun because it's new things to do because it's new ways to consider new things it's a way of looking at life from a different angle as Esther is walking with her friend they walk around a loop one way and the next day they walk around the loop the other way and it is amazing how many things on the same loop you don't see when you go that way but you do see when you go that way in other words there are so many things that your inner being knows that you adore that 
will surprise and delight you like that <laughs> did any of you see that coming that was just like the perfect timing for something that was surprising and utterly delightful admit it it was utterly delightful yeah. okay I'm ready for more fun then you are you're up for it you are up for it subtle fun outrageous fun new fun never done it before fun never thought that before Th never thought about that before that's Esther's favorite thing I have never had this thought before I've never had this thought before and there it is and now that I've got it it is so obvious where was it before well it was just waiting for you to be bored enough that you were willing to reach for something exciting and new yeah yeah really good thank you really good So um, I've heard a lot of other uh, channels, if you will, uh, suggest to sit and write. And um, I was doing an exercise for a while where um, she, she said, um, just fall into your heart space and take a couple deep breaths. And, That's good. Do that. And, and ask, but the thing about that is that you get in your own head and then you get in your own way. And if you do that before you're really ready to receive, then you keep yourself from really getting into the alignment. And that answer to that question that you ask is what we mean about trying too hard trying to make it happen okay when you're in alignment you will be uplifted to a thought and it will be a thought like you've never had before and you will know jerry knew when esther was receiving because jerry knew esther she was just a mess off girl <laughs> she wasn't serious about anything she wasn't a deep thinker she was a light thinker she was not even that frequent of a thinker <laughs> they would drive and Esther was quiet and Jerry would tell her all the stories of all the places he'd been which seemed to Esther were everywhere she loved listening to his stories and she would just listen and listen and listen and listen and then after miles and miles of her not saying anything he'd say what are you thinking about and she'd say there's a cow <laughs> and we're not making fun of Esther right. Esther had this unique uh, it's not an ability it was a state of being of being in the now and just enjoying the pleasure of it and that comes from not having a lot of controversy in her early life it comes from not having strong habits of pushing against in other words Esther fights for that today television makes that much more of a struggle for Esther today than it did when she was first meeting us because now she sees so many things that so many people disagree with that are going on in the world and it's not easy to focus yourself into a place of allowance some things have helped Esther like just recently we said rather than trying to figure the right and wrong out in everything just ask yourself what's the path of least resistance forming your opinion form an intention your opinion often has you pushing against something your intention often has you advocating for something and so over the years we've given Esther a whole lot of tricks to keep her steady in a world of diversity but you got to come to this place where you don't just acknowledge that there's adversity around you and not really even just accept that there is and that there always will be but embrace it as a good thing embrace differences while you do your very best to find your resonance with your true power and your true knowing yeah I had one other curiosity kind of related to the whole channeling receiving thing um, now let's not make it sound like that I had one other curiosity question relative to my fulfilling my reason for being my tuning into the energy that is really me my being in this physical body while being predominantly connected to that source energy me being in concert with my inner being who stands in complete alignment with source energy one who is more powerful than millions let's just not brush it off like that channeling thing if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next